what's up guys uh, thank you very much for being on electrica we really appreciate that now today we are talking about relays okay and um, let me say if you're new here uh, please this is electrica uh, we do electrical you know videos so if you what we do interest you don't forget to subscribe like and share so uh, relays uh, switches like your normal switches you have in your house because they operate circuits uh, on off okay but the only difference is that uh, these particular relays that we are talking about today use electromagnet to mechanically operate you know a circuit okay so I have these two relays here uh, one relay the tiny one probably I'll zoom in for you this is a, a single pole double zero relay you probably uh, find them in electronic circuits especially like inverters okay for switching mechanism okay and these uh, the reason why are called single pole double throw because they have got uh, you know uh, normally closed a common and normally open okay and then we have got this type here it's an 11 pin relay okay and these falls under uh, double pole double throw okay so we'll look into that in a bit so these relays the beauty of of it is that uh, it can really uh, use a very low signal a very low power signal to operate you know high current for example these very relay that i'm holding in my hands this tiny one the contacts are rated at 10 amps okay and it, it only use uh, 12 dc okay and then you're able to use it to supply or to operate a circuit of 10 amps okay now the same thing with this big one uh, this also can operate you know a circuit of 10 amps uh, 250 volts and same t uh, 10 amps uh, 28 volts DC okay but uh, I want to show you how I really are connected okay such that uh, you understand most of these controls uh, what you have to master is the parts the devices how they work okay the moment you know each you know device what they do then uh, when they you when it's time to compact them in one circuit so that it can operate then it becomes very much easier okay all right <clears throat> now one thing we can start with this small relay so this is uh, the single pole uh, double throw and so this is our coil okay then you have got your contacts here so you have this one is no and then you have got nc right here okay then you can say this is l this is n so this is what this relay is telling us okay so this relay has got five contacts so the two contacts are coil your live and neutral and then the other three contacts one contact is common and then you have normally closed and normally open okay so meaning that you can have two output signal from this you know relay okay so the beauty of this is that uh, in your circuit you might want something like if this motor runs uh, then a siren goes on or a siren goes off okay or if this light goes on the other light goes off okay you know kind of stuff so you're able to feed into signals okay so you have a signal here a power signal here that comes in here okay let me say when you power the, this really here nc has current but the moment you power it it will open nc and it close uh any all okay so uh let me put it this way in a a, a a very easy example now you might have a stop okay maybe uh if a motor is on a stop position there is a light okay there is a light that goes on which indicates uh, stop okay 
but the moment you give a relay a signal it will you know move from normally closed to normally open so this will go off and the, the motor will run so something like that you know that's the beauty which is more far better than just a, a single switch okay all right <clears throat> So, let's talk about this pin relay here. Now, this particular relay I'm holding right here, it's an 11 pin relay, okay? And uh, it has a base. You have a base right here where uh, it sits, okay? So, the read operates and then you, you, all your inputs goes to the, to the base. So, this one is is double pole, uh, double throw. And what this means is you have got, you have got your coil there, and then you have these contacts. Okay. All right, and so all these, you can call them Cs, and then you have any O, N, C, only O, N, C. So this is any O, N, C, any O, N, C. Okay. And if you count these, uh, 11. So you have three here, you have uh, here six of them, okay? So this is nine, 10, 11. So that is your 11 pin relay, okay? So to make it more realistic, I want us to, to do this. So you can count here, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So <clears throat> this is the guide which I put on this relay to show you uh, how you're supposed to do your connections. Okay. So number one and number eleven. Okay, uh, becomes your coil, okay? And then you have number three and number four. So, number three and number four, number, number three to, to two is open, then three to four is closed, okay? And then the same thing here, All right, now, this is what you have on your relay uh, picture, okay? So, you have got these pins 1 to 11, okay? And then what you know is that 11 and 1 is your coil supply, and uh, most of these numbers are indicated also on the base, okay? And the beauty of this base and the relay is that... Uh, uh, it, there is a guide of a slot whereby each pin it help you to guide that each pin will fall into the right hole. If had it not be for a slot, it's very easy to you know to put a pin in a wrong hole. That means that you, probably you would supply three and four, which are normally open, so you're going to short your circuit. Okay. So that's why there are numbers here. So you see, uh, that's why it's called the, the double. Double pull, double throw, okay? <clears throat> so, you have here, 
your number two and number four. Then you have three here, which plays between those contacts of five, and then this set here, and so on, okay? So you can feed different signals. Uh, it depends on how you want your circuit to react, okay? So you have a number of circuit here, so you have an independent signal that comes in to supply uh, your relay. And then when the relay goes on, it depends on how you have uh, set it, okay? For example, uh, let, me, let me give you a brief example. For example, in, in a, a generator change of a switch, okay? So in a change of a switch, you have relays at each side of the circuit. So you have a relay at the side of the main power and a relay at the side of the generator, okay? But on the side of the main power, it's where you have to, to signal, okay? For example, that signals the generator there, okay? If the main power goes off, for example, uh, if you're connected, let me give you an example. If you're connected, you brought a generator signal. It's totally coming from outside circuit, brought a generator signal. So you feed it to number, you know, six, You, let's say you feed it to, you know, to six and seven, to six and seven, okay? So, let me say if, if the power goes off uh, and seven and six was closed, it will now go back to the, its normal position, it will closes. And when it closes, it's sending a signal somewhere. So it would give a generator signal and the generator will start, okay? So the same way, this very relay on the main side, if power comes back, this contact will again be open. The moment it is open, now it does, this signal again, it will go back to the generator asking you that, hey, there is power on the other side, so prepare to cool down, okay? So you see, you can use it on multiple, you know, so, so, so many things, all right? So, so that's the advantage of this relay that has got many, 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 uh, contacts so you don't ever you know get confused uh, about this kind of uh, arrangement in the relay so the typical diagram you have on your relay looks like this and then the reality of the connection would be like this okay so when you count all these then you know that uh, when you count all these then you, you they come to 11 pin O. okay so uh, you they are, <coughs> sorry, so in the same relay setting like this, the pin relay, you have, you can have eight, you can have 11, you can have 18. It depends on the application where you're going to use it, okay? So, uh, if you want to learn how to connect a relay, uh, I did a video, but it, if it's not satisfying enough, please, you can leave a comment in the section below and tell me if you need me to redo or to do another video of that i'll be glad to do it okay so thank you very much i appreciate that and please don't forget to subscribe to like and share don't forget to follow me on twitter at david sengendo uh, and you can also always pose your question there because now on twitter i'm able to answer any question on the go okay so thank you very much i appreciate your time here and please share this video to with your friends whom you think that this kind of uh, tutorials really help them a lot thank you very much until next time and we're out okay